The hunt for the tomb of Moses is a quest that has captivated historians, archaeologists, and explorers for centuries. The search for this legendary resting place holds untold and terrifying truths about the nature of humanity, and the search for it still rages to this day. But could this tomb hold more questions than answers? What do researchers have to say about this long-held mystery behind the legend of the explorers now believe they have found his tomb, and what they have discovered could change everything? Expedition Unknown is launching a full-blown investigation into the death and burial of Moses, the legendary figure from the Bible. The host of this investigation, Josh Gates, is determined to uncover the truth behind the historical, living, breathing man known as Moses and where he was laid to rest. Archaeologist Talik Dettel explains that Moses' burial site was detailed in biblical tradition, stating that he was buried on the other side of the valley where they are currently standing. He also mentions that Moses died on Mount Nebo. This final resting place of Moses could be within reach, as researchers have found long hidden clues that all point toward one of the most significant finds in archaeological history. The exploration into Moses' tomb is not just a search for a historical site, but a journey into the heart of biblical history. The potential discovery of Moses' tomb raises numerous questions about the intersection of history, faith, and archaeology. What if the tomb of Moses reveals artifacts or inscriptions that shed new light on his life and times? Could it provide evidence that challenges or supports the biblical narrative? The investigation led by Josh Gates promises to delve deep into these questions, bringing together experts in archaeology, history, and theology. The team will use advanced technology and traditional excavation methods to search for the tomb. They will also explore the surrounding areas, looking for any signs or clues that might lead them to Moses' final resting place. As, as the search progresses, the team must navigate the challenges of working in a region with a rich but tumultuous history. Political, environmental, and logistical hurdles are ever-present, but the possibility of uncovering such a monumental find drives the team forward. The discovery of Moses' tomb, if it indeed exists, could revolutionize our understanding of the ancient world and provide profound insights into one of the most pivotal figures in religious history. The clues gathered from biblical texts, historical records, and modern-day explorations converge to create a tantalizing possibility that the true resting place of Moses might soon be revealed. This investigation is not just about finding a tomb, it's about connecting with a story that has shaped human civilization for millennia. The journey to uncover Moses' tomb promises to be a thrilling adventure filled with mystery, danger, and the potential for groundbreaking discoveries that could change our understanding of the past and its impact on the present. The religious significance of finding Moses' tomb and any related artifacts cannot be overstated. Moses is a figure of great reverence across many faiths, including Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. To many people, the clues leading researchers under the Sea of Galilee, where a mysterious underwater structure has been spotted for the first time challenge everything we know about the history and legend of Moses. This discovery adds to the mystique behind these proceedings, particularly with the legendary Miriam's Well as a backdrop. Miriam's Well is a biblical legend associated with the miraculous provision of water to the Israelites during their 40 years of wandering in the desert, a miracle directly attributed to the survival of their people. The exploration involves dropping a seismic air gun in the Sea of Galilee to scan an underwater anomaly they could be connected to this biblical legend. The implications of such a discovery are vast. The potential confirmation of Miriam's well could lead to significant theological and historical discussions. It raises questions about the accuracy of biblical accounts and their impact on modern faith and cultural identity. If proven true, it could affect religious beliefs, archaeological approaches, and historical understandings. The Expedition Unknown crew, led by Josh Gates, is on a mission to explore the Sea of Galilee for more clues that can illuminate the past of Miriam's well. The seismic scans aim to uncover the underwater anomaly and determine if it is indeed connected to the biblical legend and the sister of Moses, Miriam. This structure, if verified, could provide concrete evidence supporting the legend of Miriam's well and the historical existence of the miraculous events described in the Exodus. Miriam, an important figure in the narrative of the Exodus, is first introduced as the watchful, loving sister who ensures the safety of her little brother Moses by sending him down the Nile River in a basket. Her role in the survival and leadership of the Israelites adds depth to the significance of Miriam's well. The potential discovery of her well in the Sea of Galilee could also enhance our understanding of the biblical journey 
and the miraculous events that sustained the Israelites. The search for Moses' tomb and the exploration of Miriam's well present an opportunity to bridge the gap between legend and historical fact. Such discoveries could profoundly impact modern life, potentially altering religious perceptions, enhancing historical knowledge, and sparking widespread interest in biblical archaeology. The Middle East, with its rich tapestry of history and religion, could experience significant cultural and scholarly reverberations from these findings. In conclusion, the Expedition Unknown's investigation into the Sea of Galilee and the search for Moses' tomb represent a groundbreaking effort to uncover the truths behind some of the most revered biblical legends. The potential discoveries of Moses' final resting place and Miriam's well hold the promise of reshaping our understanding of ancient history and its ongoing influence on contemporary faith and culture. The story continues with Moses being found floating in his basket and named by his new family, signifying a miraculous turn in his destiny. Miriam, his sister, emerges as a significant leader in her own right, leading the women of Israel in celebration after their escape across the Red Sea from the Pharaoh's tyranny. Miriam's association with water is a recurring theme throughout her story and legend, from the Nile River to the shores of the Red Sea, and culminating in the well named after. According to Israelite traditions, after their escape from Egypt, the Israelites were sustained in the desert by manna from heaven and water from a miraculous well that followed them on their treacherous journey. This well, known as Miriam's well, was not just any ordinary source of water, but a divine gift for Miriam's righteous work in saving her people. The well is described in the legend as a rock that traveled with the Israelites, providing sweet-tasting water whenever they needed it, symbolizing both physical and spiritual sustenance. The importance of Miriam's well continues in the legends and traditions of the Israelites, representing God's grace and love for his children. The narrative underscores the theme that God cherished the Israelites and highlights Miriam's bravery and faithfulness. Her story serves as a powerful reminder of the significance of faith and strong leadership. Each of the siblings, Moses, Aaron, and Miriam, played crucial roles Moses provided law and order. Aaron offered mediation and diplomacy, and Miriam nurtured the community by providing sustenance. Miriam's well was more than just a physical necessity. It was a symbol of hope and determination for the Israelites. Without it, their spirits could have easily broken during their arduous journey. The events following Miriam's death further strengthen her connection to the well. According to accounts, the well disappeared after her passing, leading to a significant event in the Exodus story where Moses struck a rock to bring forth water. This act of disobedience led to God's punishment, forbidding Moses from entering the promised land. The legacy of Miriam and her well is a testament to the enduring power of faith, leadership, and divine providence. Her story, intertwined with that of Moses and Aaron, highlights the multifaceted leadership that guided the Israelites through their trials. As researchers continue to explore the mysteries of Miriam's well and its historical connections, the narrative of her bravery and faith remains an inspiring example of how one person's actions can sustain and uplift an entire community. The Sea of Galilee, a freshwater lake in Israel, holds both geological and archaeological significance. Recent discoveries at this site have ignited intense curiosity and launched major expeditions. In 2003, Israeli scientists conducting a sonar survey identified a mysterious structure at the bottom of the ancient lake. This massive cone-shaped formation, composed of basalt rocks and boulders, is located about half a mile northwest of the Sea of Galilee shore. Measuring over 230 feet in diameter, rising 39 feet from the lake bed, and weighing an estimated 60,000 tons, this structure suggests a significant effort in its construction. The discovery of this structure has sparked extensive debates and speculation among historians and scholars. Its mysterious origins and the effort required to build it have led to various theories, many of which connected to the rich biblical history of the area. According to the Jerusalem Talmud, there was a legend that one could look down into the Sea of Galilee and see a bump rising from the lake bed, which aligns with the discovery of this anomalous structure. The connections to Miriam's well, a significant element in Jewish tradition, are particularly intriguing. Jewish tradition holds that after Miriam's death, the well that provided water for the Israelites during their desert wanderings ceased to flow. Some speculate that the structure found in the Sea of Galilee could be linked to these ancient narratives adding a layer of biblical and historical significance to the site. The Sea of Galilee is a location rich with biblical history, 
and the discovery of the underwater structure has further fueled imaginations and scholarly research. This area is already renowned for its association with various events and figures from the Bible, making the finding of such a significant anomaly particularly compelling. The structure's origins remain a mystery, with theories ranging from it being a man-made construction of ancient origin to a natural geological formation. Its connection to biblical accounts, including Miriam's well, continues to be a subject of fascination and investigation. As researchers and archaeologists continue to explore this enigmatic structure, the Sea of Galilee remains a focal point for those seeking to uncover the truths hidden beneath its waters, potentially reshaping our understanding of history and biblical narratives. The water provided by Miriam's well during the Israelites' forty years in the desert is a significant part of Jewish tradition, and the mysterious disappearance of the well after Miriam's death has led researchers to believe that the anomaly found in the Sea of Galilee could be related to or even be the actual resting place of this miraculous well. To investigate the anomaly more closely, researchers employed seismic air guns, a technique commonly used in oil and gas operations as well as geological studies. These devices release high-pressure air into the water to create sound waves that penetrate the seabed. When these sound waves reflect back to the surface, they are captured by sensors, enabling scientists to generate detailed three-dimensional images of subsurface structure. The detailed images produced by this technology have led scientists to believe that the massive structure found in the Sea of Galilee is likely artificial. The sheer size and deliberate placement of the basalt boulders suggest that they were arranged by human hands for a specific purpose. This level of precision and effort is not seen in natural formations, indicating that the site could have held significant importance. The estimated age of the structure, around 4,000 years old, places it in the early Bronze Age. This period aligns with a timeline of many ancient Near Eastern civilizations, adding a layer of historical context to the find. The use of advanced technology to unravel ancient secrets represents a significant milestone for researchers worldwide highlighting the importance of such discoveries in understanding our collective past. Despite the technological advancements and detailed imaging, the exact purpose of the structure remains uncertain. Some researchers speculate that it could have served as a monument, a burial mound, or a ceremonial site. The monumental effort required to transport and arrange the massive basalt boulders suggests that the site held considerable significance for the people who built it. The hunt for information and the truth about this ancient structure continues, as each new discovery adds to our understanding of the region's history and its connection to biblical narratives. The possibility that this anomaly could be related to Miriam's well, a significant element in the story of the Exodus, fuels ongoing research and exploration. As scientists delve deeper into the mysteries of the Sea of Galilee, they hope to uncover more clues that will shed light on the ancient history and enduring legends of this fascinating region. Josh Gates is eager to learn whether the structure in the Sea of Galilee could indeed be the tomb of Moses, though others speculate it might hold religious significance without necessarily being a grave marker. The potential connection to Miriam's well raises tantalizing questions about whether biblical events could now be substantiated or expanded upon with modern technology. The researchers have focused on the anomaly itself, noting its massive size and the arrangement of basalt boulders forming a large cone-shaped pile on the lake bed. The effort required to build such a structure would have been considerable. Basalt, a volcanic rock commonly found in the area, suggests that the builders utilized available local materials rather than importing them. De determining the structure's age through sediment layers and comparisons to similar archaeological sites, researchers estimate it dates back to the early to mid-Bronze Age. This period is characterized by the emergence of more complex societies with advancements in metalworking and the establishment of trade networks across the Near East. The grand scale of the structure suggests it was created by a well-organized community with advanced communication and cooperation skills, indicating an impressive level of engineering and architectural skills. The placement of the structure in the middle of the lake, with sediment accumulated on top of it, indicates that it was built before the area became submerged due to shifts in water levels. This suggests a historical significance, possibly linked to the worship of water, which was especially valuable in a desert climate. The possibility that the structure could be related to the biblical narrative of Miriam's well is particularly intriguing. According to legend, Miriam's well provided water to the Israelites during their forty years in the desert, and its disappearance after Miriam's death led to significant events in the story of Exodus. This well, described as a rock that rolled with the Israelites and spurted water when needed, was not just a source of physical sustenance, but also a spiritual one. Further exploration using seismic air guns and advanced imaging technology has provided detailed images of the subsurface structure, 
allowing scientists to determine its nature more accurately. The massive size and artificial arrangement of the basalt boulders suggest that it was constructed with a specific purpose in mind, although the exact purpose remains uncertain. Some speculate it could have been a monument, a burial mound, or a ceremonial site, indicating its significant importance to the people who built it. As investigations continue, researchers hope to uncover more clues about the structure's origins and its potential connection to the biblical narrative. The possibility of proving or expanding upon biblical events with modern technology could have profound implications for our understanding of ancient history and religious traditions. The ongoing quest to uncover the truth behind this mysterious structure in the Sea of Galilee continues to captivate historians, archaeologists, and scholars. Adding a new chapter to the rich tapestry of the region's history, several locations in the region that are traditionally associated with Moses, but the exact burial site remains a mystery. This elusive burial site has fueled endless speculation and numerous expeditions over the centuries. The connection between the mysterious structure in the Sea of Galilee and the biblical story of the Exodus, particularly Miriam's well, holds significant potential for both religious scholars and historians. If the structure predates the story of the Exodus, it could provide invaluable insights into the societies that existed before the Israelites. And these societies could have influenced the stories and legends that have been passed down through generations. Should further research and data place the construction of this structure closer to the traditional timeline of the Exodus, it could serve as a crucial piece of evidence supporting the large-scale construction projects described in the Bible. Such projects, including the building of altars and standing stones, already have a basis in the archaeological record of the time. This connection would lend additional credibility to biblical narratives, demonstrating the advanced engineering capabilities of the people during that era. Finding the tomb of Moses would be a monumental discovery, providing new information that could bridge the gap between religious texts and historical evidence. Deuteronomy 34 describes Moses' death and burial in the land of Moab, but the exact location has remained unknown. The absence of physical evidence has left this aspect of Moses' story in the realm of faith and legend. Josh Gates' observation that Moses is also prominently mentioned in the Quran highlights the widespread significance of this figure across multiple religions. The Quran, like the Bible, speaks of Moses' life and deeds, adding another layer of complexity and reverence to his story. This multi-religious significance underscores the importance of uncovering more about Moses' life and death. The discovery of the underwater structure in the Sea of Galilee, combined with the advanced technology being used to study it, represents a significant step forward in this quest. The use of seismic air guns and detailed imaging technology has provided researchers with a clearer picture of what lies beneath the lake's surface. The massive, carefully arranged basalt boulders suggest a deliberate and labor-intensive construction, raising questions about its purpose and significance. As researchers continue to investigate, the possibility of linking this structure to Miriam's well, or even Moses' tomb, offers tantalizing prospects for new discoveries. This intersection of archaeology, religion, and history could provide profound insights into the past, helping to illuminate the lives and practices of ancient societies. The ongoing exploration and study of this anomaly in the Sea of Galilee continues to captivate scholars and the public alike, promising to reveal more about one of history's most enduring and enigmatic figures. Of visiting this site during the annual pilgrimage, known as the Nabi Musa pilgrimage, where Muslims gather to honor Moses, the elusive nature of Moses' burial site has spurred numerous theories and explorations over the years. One prominent theory is that God himself orchestrated Moses' burial to prevent the location from becoming a site of idolatry or disturbance. This belief is rooted in the idea that Moses, a prophet of immense significance, deserved a resting place that would remain untouched and sacred. In the Quran, Moses is mentioned 130 times more than any other prophet, emphasizing his importance in Islamic tradition. This frequency of mention underscores his role as a key messenger and leader, paralleling his portrayal in the Bible. The Quran describes Moses' mission to lead the Israelites and his receipt of divine revelations, aligning closely with the biblical narrative. However, Islamic tradition offers different perspectives on his burial site. The Islamic texts provide varied descriptions of Moses' final resting place. Some accounts suggest that he was buried near the red dunes of Roman Jordan while others hint at a location in Jericho, in the West Bank. The tomb of Nabi Musa in the West Bank is a notable site revered by Muslims as Moses' burial place. This site, which includes a mosque and a mausoleum, 
has been a destination for reverence and pilgrimage for centuries, illustrating the profound respect and devotion Muslims have for Moses. The quest to locate Moses' tomb and the mysterious structure in the Sea of Galilee continues to captivate researchers and explorers like Josh Gates. The advanced technology being employed, such as seismic air guns and detailed imaging, offers the potential to uncover more about the region's history and its connections to biblical events. Whether or not the structure is linked to Miriam's well or Moses' tomb, the ongoing investigations promise to shed light on the ancient societies that once inhabited the area and their significant achievements in engineering and architecture. This interdisciplinary approach, combining archaeology, religious studies, and advanced technology, aims to bridge the gap between historical evidence and religious narratives. Discovering more about Moses' burial site or related structures could provide invaluable insights into the lives and practices of ancient peoples, enriching our understanding of history and the enduring legacies of figures like Moses. The continued exploration and research in this field hold the promise of unveiling new truths about one of history's most revered and enigmatic prophets. The Islamic tradition of the annual pilgrimage to Nabi Musa, which honors the prophet Moses, underscores the profound spiritual connection many feel towards him. This pilgrimage, which dates back centuries, is a reflection of the deep reverence and love that Muslims hold for Moses as a prophet. The search for his tomb, thus, transcends mere physical exploration and delves into the spiritual and symbolic realms of faith. If Moses is indeed buried at the site of worship and pilgrimage in Nabi Musa, he is driven by this profound significance. According to the expert archaeologist accompanying Gates, the site is widely acknowledged as Moses' tomb due to long-standing Muslim tradition. This belief has been solidified since the 13th century, when the site became a recognized compound. The marriage of tradition with the quest to locate Moses' tomb highlights the deep human desire for a tangible connection with the divine and historical figures. The tomb at Nabi Musa, while largely symbolic, serves as a physical representation of Moses' enduring legacy and impact on religion and moral philosophy. This understanding is crucial for those exploring the significance of such sites. Nabi Musa, named after Moses Musa in Arabic, is strategically located near Jerusalem and the Dead Sea, regions of immense religious significance to multiple faiths. This proximity enhances its status as a focal point for religious devotion. The site's symbolic nature does not diminish its importance, rather, it enhances the spiritual and historical narratives associated with Moses. For, for many, the search for Moses' tomb is an exploration of faith itself, reflecting the elusive and mysterious nature of belief in a higher power. The quest is not just about uncovering a physical location, but also about understanding the deeper spiritual truths that Moses represents. This journey of discovery, blending archaeology, history, and faith, continues to captivate and inspire those who seek to connect with one of history's most revered prophets. Nabi Musa is indeed a site of profound cultural, spiritual, and historical significance, embodying centuries of tradition and reverence. Josh Gates's reflections on the challenges of reconciling the biblical and Quranic narratives highlight the complexity of such a place where faith, history, and archaeology intersect. This convergence creates a space that is sacred not just because of its possible physical contents, but because of the deep emotional and spiritual connections it fosters. Despite the lack of specific textual evidence in Islamic scripture, the belief that Nabi Musa houses the tomb of Moses is widely accepted. This belief, rooted in medieval traditions, has been perpetuated through the establishment of shrines and mosque complexes, believed to date back to the 13th century, under the rule of the Mamluk Sultan Babers. The site has seen numerous renovations and expansions, reflecting its enduring significance in the Islamic world. The annual pilgrimage to Nabi Musa, which coincides with the Muslim holiday of Laylat al-Miraj, celebrating the Prophet Muhammad's night journey and ascension to heaven, underscores the site's impact as more than a memorial to a biblical figure. It is a focal point of communal and religious identity. According to some accounts, the location of Moses' tomb was revealed through a prophetic dream or vision, adding to the site's mystical and sacred aura. Despite the lack of archaeological or textual evidence to confirm this narrative, the decision to honor the site based on such a unique revelation has faced challenges and sensitivities. The reverence for Nabi Musa prevents scientists and researchers from conducting archaeological digs, as the need to respect the region's religious beliefs and practices outweighs the desire to satisfy scientific curiosity. The delicate handling of this site is crucial as religion, tradition, and culture are deeply intertwined and can be volatile if approached insensitively. 
Nabi Musa stands as a testament to the power of tradition and belief, a place where historical and spiritual legacies converge. It is a unique site, not easily supplanted, and its significance goes beyond physical evidence, rooted in the collective faith and reverence of those who honor it. The intersection of faith and history here exemplifies the broader challenges and rewards of exploring ancient traditions within a modern context, reminding us of the deep connections that transcend time and space. The archaeologist's careful response to Josh Gates's inquiry about whether the tomb of Moses at the Nabi Musa site has ever been opened reflects the delicate balance between scientific curiosity and religious reverence. It underscores the deep-seated traditions and beliefs that protect such sacred sites from exploration or excavation, especially in the Holy Land. Throughout the centuries, these beliefs have persisted, fueling ongoing curiosity and questions about Moses' tomb. The, de the desire to uncover the truth about Moses' tomb, while respecting religious sensitivities, requires a collaborative approach that engages religious authorities and the local community. Any archaeological excavation undertaken in such a sacred space must be conducted with the utmost respect and care, as it has the potential to challenge traditional beliefs and add layers of political and religious complexity. Mount Nebo's significance as the final resting place of Moses is deeply rooted in biblical narrative. According to scripture, Moses ascended Mount Nebo to view the promised land before his death, and God himself buried him there. This narrative imbues Mount Nebo with profound spiritual importance, attracting pilgrims from Christian, Jewish, and Islamic faiths over the century. The presence of early Christian mosaics and religious structures, such as monasteries and churches, further solidifies Mount Nebo's status as a revered pilgrimage site. Pilgrims journey to Mount Nebo seeking a connection to divinity and a reaffirmation of their faith, making it a place of reflection, reverence, and spiritual renewal. The artifacts and historical remnants preserved at Mount Nebo offer tangible connections to the past, enriching the pilgrimage experience for visitors from all walks of life. The complex and rich history of Mount Nebo, intertwined with both Christian tradition and biblical narrative, is a testament to the enduring legacy of Moses. The efforts of the Franciscan order to maintain and excavate the site have revealed remarkable archaeological finds, including intricately designed mosaics dating back to the 4th century. These artifacts provide insights into the early Christian community's reverence for Moses and the profound impact of his legacy. Unlike the tomb site at Nabi Musa, Mount Nebo has been more open to archaeological exploration. However, the decision to refrain from opening Moses' tomb reflects a deep respect for religious tradition and the boundaries between faith and science. Archaeologists takes wisdom in knowing when to honor tradition underscores the importance of respecting cultural beliefs and practices. Despite the elusive nature of concrete evidence linking Moses to Mount Nebo, the site remains a powerful symbol of faith and a testament to the enduring power of biblical narrative. Its historical and religious significance is evident in its prominence in religious texts and its acknowledgement by religious authorities throughout the centuries. As visitors stand atop Mount Nebo, they are reminded of the profound spiritual connection to Moses and the enduring impact of his legacy on religious faith and tradition. The breathtaking vistas of the Holy Land encompass iconic and sacred sites like the Jordan Valley, the Dead Sea, Jericho, and Jerusalem, echoing the descriptions found in biblical narratives. These landscapes instill a profound sense of awe and majesty, lending credibility to the stories passed down through generations. Locations, millions of visitors find themselves connected to the legacy of Moses, experiencing a moment of spiritual resonance and reflecting on the diverse perspectives and traditions that converge in this sacred land. The tomb of Moses, shrouded in mystery despite its apparent accessibility near the Jordan River, continues to evoke curiosity and intrigue. Despite extensive research and investigation, including efforts by Expedition Unknown led by Josh Gates, the quest to unravel the enigma surrounding Moses' final resting place remains elusive. While scientific endeavors have encountered obstacles, particularly in the inability to excavate the tomb due to religious and traditional constraints, Advancements such as scanning the Sea of Galilee for insights into underwater structures hint at the potential for future discoveries. The pursuit of truth is unending, and while certain mysteries persist, each step forward brings a deeper understanding and new data. As researchers embark on their journey, armed with newfound knowledge and lighter hearts, the quest to unlock the secrets of Moses' tomb and the surrounding mysteries of the Holy Land continues. With determination and perseverance, the hope remains that, one day, 
The tomb of Moses may yield the answers to the age-old questions that have captivated humanity for centuries.